What's up y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, and that's because we're going to be doing this all live, and I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of the different methods to recruit players into your guild. Now this can also be used for how to find a guild, but we're going to be looking at mostly how to find members for your guild. Now I'm going to tailor the majority of this video to higher ranked raiding guilds, or at least guilds that plan on raiding on some sort of a schedule, or at least seriously in one way or another. Now, other than that, I will talk about some other methods that are more, uh, I guess, like more casual. But the first thing we're going to look at is a couple of different websites that I think are very useful for uh, finding members for your guild. Now, again, this is going to be live, and so I'm probably going to make a couple of mistakes, and hopefully there won't be too many of them. But anyway, we're going to get this going. The first website we're going to look at here is called wowprogress.com. What wowprogress.com does is it aggregates all the different guilds and all the different players in a lot of different ways. Now, whenever you originally go to the website, you, as soon as you, this is the home screen here, and it shows all of the top guilds. Now, if you're looking to uh, to join a guild, you can use this uh, little thing here right here called the Any Raids Per Week, and this aggregates all different guilds that raid two to one to two uh, raids per week, three to four, or three, four, five, and then six to seven. And so this is very useful if you're on a server and you want to find a guild that fits your rating times. And so, for example, uh, you can type in right here, let's go and I'll just look at Kel'Thuzad. So type in Kel'Thuzad, and uh, you can this, also do this with players, by the way. For an example, uh, I'll just type in myself and then see here's I pop up here. And uh, anyway, I already have Kel'Thuzad uh, opened up over here. And so as soon as you clicked on the US Kel'Thuzad link, it's going to take you to this page. Now this page is the same as the world rankings, except for it aggregates all the different guilds on the server. Now, if you want to look at guilds that only raid, uh, let's say, four nights per week. So Divinity raids four nights per week, and um, what do you call it? Uh, we don't, and neither does uh, Slash Hug, and so we're not on this list of guilds. And so anyway, uh, this is going to show all of the guilds that raid four nights per week, and I really feel bad for all these guys who haven't even done Mythic and they raid four nights per week, but maybe it's just wrong. Either way, point is that this is a good way to find different guilds that rate at your schedule. Also, this is a good way to find other players and let other players know what your schedule is so they can figure out what kind of guild that they want to be in. Anyway, uh, as for example, we'll go to my guild here. And this is, uh, you know, indestructible, and so it shows our progress here. It shows our average item level of the, um, I, I guess, like all the raiders in the guild. I don't really know exactly how they do it. Maybe it's the top 20 players. It doesn't really matter. Either way, it shows our world rank, US rank, and uh, item level rank, I guess. Um, either way, so you come down here, and it basically, this allows you to, uh, this website, as a guild administrator, like a guild master or a recruitment officer such as myself, I didn't fill out any of this. I didn't really do, I think I made some uh, changes, but point is, I didn't really make all of this stuff myself, but I know pretty much how it's supposed to go. Now, the best thing you want to have here is you want to make sure that you uh, put down your raids per week and also the recruiting. Now our recruiting is outdated because we recruit through our guild website. Now if you're not recruiting through a guild website, and this is another aspect here, I'm going to talk about this for a minute. Now if you don't have a guild website, you probably should uh, focus on making one. They're very cheap and there's also a lot of websites that are even free and you can use a lot of alternatives. I've seen people who make like even like Facebook pages or something like that for their guild and that's how they process applications. And the point being is that uh, you have to have some sort of way to where all the guild master or the guild uh, members can coordinate things and uh, where you can process, I guess, like just information in general. Uh, Guildlaunch.com is like one of the ones, I think that we use Shivter, I'm not really entirely sure. But either way, there are a lot of different website uh, hosting services that allow uh, and have built in, I guess, like um, templates for different uh, guild websites. So either way, uh, that's very important, so make sure that you do have a guild website if you're actually uh, planning on raiding on a schedule. And what I mean by that is if you plan on expecting everybody to be there on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, like our, uh, like some guilds, or like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, how we are, or like on Friday, Saturday, whatever it is, uh, you probably want to have some sort of a guild website so you can communicate with other people. And the reason for that, again, is because if you don't have that, it's going to be difficult for people to post that they're going to be absent. And also, if they're able to post that they're absent on a public forum, everybody else can be aware of it and accommodate accordingly. So either way, uh, make sure that you have a guild website, and it also will make things a lot easier for recruitment. And a lot of people, it's like if you don't have a guild website, in my opinion, I would never join a guild that doesn't even have a guild website because it's obviously not very professional and they don't really take it very seriously. Either way, 
And I know that a lot of you guys might have different uh, priorities than I do, but I'm just going to tell you guys that's that's how I feel. And so anyway, you can fill out this information here, and this is the information where you can kind of tell people what to expect from your guild and what you're looking for in a player. Now, uh, usually this is a pretty common uh, expectation here, is that you post your past progression, your world of logs, and uh, people are going to be using Warcraft logs a lot more now, and we're going to talk about that also. Now, recruitment, uh, you post that. Raid schedule, this is very important. Make sure your raid schedule is known. Uh, you know, put all the stuff that's very important out there, like your requirements, just general recruitment requirements, also your loot system, everything like that. And so anyway, uh, this is the, you know, like give some sort of a contact thing. So then I've got like my battle tag, uh, Matheny's battle tag, who's also the, um, he like kind of helps out with recruitment also. And so uh, you want to make sure that they have a way to contact you. And also here's our website right here. And so you can go to the website, and uh, here's our website. And anyway, uh, we have our recruitment page right here, and it says that you know, hey, look, we need a misweaver. And uh, anyway, this is a good other way um, to communicate with your different guilds or with your different uh, members who are prospective members of your guild. And so either way, uh, that's what you really want to be using WoW Progress for in terms of uh, li listing your guild. Now, in terms of finding specific players, there are a lot of different ways to do that. Now, the first thing that you want to do. Is that you can look at all? Uh, you can use this aggregation service in the same way on um, in general, but I prefer to use this on the uh, on the server because it's easier to find people and also you know what kind of other guilds that people are looking for. So anyway, uh, on, on top of guild progress, you can also look at simulated DPS, and this is going to show like let's say I want to get a really good um, Windwalker monk, okay? And so anyway. Uh, this guy Rizo from Divinity is, uh, you know, has very good logs here. Uh, sorry, has very good sim DPS, and any of these people here probably have very, very high, um, we call it high item level, and probably perform very highly, and also probably know their class because it's able to sim their DPS very highly. And so this is a good way to look at things. Another thing you can obviously look at is character item level. And character item level does exactly what it's you know expected to do. It just pretty much shows the item level of different characters and aggregates it you know from highest to lowest. And uh, anyway, uh, it sucks that I'm not even on the front page anymore. But oh well, I haven't gotten any upgrades in a while. It doesn't really matter. Point being is that this is a very useful method and tool to uh, find people. And so anyway, uh, for example, like let's say um, I can find uh, let's see, I'll, let's just look up. We'll look up that same guy, um, this Rizo guy, and he's from Divinity. So we're going to control C his name and we're going to look up his logs on warcraftlogs.com. Now what warcraftlogs.com does is it basically ranks different players against each other of equal uh, item level or relatively equal item level on the same fight. And so let's say it aggregates all of the different misweavers on, or sorry, uh, I guess like windwalkers in this example, windwalkers on uh, mythic Kargath, okay? And so anyway, uh, and you can look at the ranks, and this is kind of like the next iteration of World of Logs. And so if you want to go ahead and look at this, you can go to the top up here where my uh, where my cursor is and click on uh, Zones, click on Hymal, and then go to Rankings. And so anyway, so what Rankings is going to do is it's going to kind of show who performed the best on the fight. Now obviously not everybody logs, some people do private logs, etc., etc., but this is going to give you a pretty good idea about who's performing the best on which uh, on which fight. And so anyway, you can pretty much see who's doing well on, uh, on which fight, as I said before. And so apparently Enhancement Shamans are really just killing it on a couple of these different fights here. And you can also aggregate it through different bosses, uh, different difficulty, US and EU, and also by classes. Now this is one of the best ways to do, just to show how you compare to other people who are parsing uh, in the same class and uh, spec as yourself. And so this is also very important for looking at different members in the uh, that you want to recruit to your guild. And so anyway, you can also aggregate it by item levels. And so obviously somebody who's a 662 in this bracket here is probably not going to be performing as highly as somebody in the 678 to the 692 item level bracket. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's look up that Rizo guy. And so we're going to um, copy paste his name into uh, you know this little search thing. And we're going to look at Rizo of Kel'Thuzad. So click on his name. And holy shit, he did really, really well on Kargath. He got a 97th, 305, that's his rank there. And so what this is going to do, we're just going to look at all bosses, because it only aggregates here from, uh, actually, let's see, oh, Mythic, Mythic, uh, not not too well. But the uh, point is, we're going to look at all of the different heroic uh, encounters that he's done, and I'll show you what all of the numbers mean and how to evaluate a player based on those. Now, 
the first thing you're going to see here is you're going to see a bunch of different lines. Now these percentiles show uh, what percentage he is compared to everybody else and basically the higher the percentile the better the performance. The historical parses are uh, basically how many parses he's compared, uh, this percentage is comparing to and that shows his DPS. That shows his item level at the time the parse was taken. That shows the duration of the fight. That shows the date the fight was, uh, I guess, like happened, that this parse was created. This shows the guild, of course. Uh, this shows the percentage if, uh, for example, you don't really, uh, the, the, it's gone down over time. So this shows what you originally had at the time that uh, you made the parse. And I'll show you that with myself after this. And uh, this shows where you are, where you stand at this point in, in time, because obviously your uh, percentage will go down because people will get better gear and just you know tend to do more DPS. Uh, it also shows your rank, and so the rank matters because that's like it kind of ranks you in the top like 200 players who parse the highest on the fight, and that's more of a competitive thing. Uh, today's parses it shows the amount of parses that exist uh, for Cargath Blade Fist, and so anyway, so that's pretty much what that does. I'm trying to make sure, um, okay, so we talked about pretty much all of that, and of course it does show on Windwalker, and uh, you can also aggregate this for each boss, and uh, all for all bosses, this is what I prefer to look at, and for all item levels, and you can look at it this way to see how this person performs at different item levels, because sometimes if somebody has a very low, uh, you know, percentage, you can say, hey, this guy only had a 640 uh, item level, for example, and so that can kind of explain it. Either way, it also shows the spec, and you can change the difficulty from Mythic to Heroic, and so if you look right here, here's Butcher, and you can see that on Butcher, he had 51 percentage and uh, 60 parses, uh, 30,000 DPS, and um, you know was a uh, rank 183 out of all of the Windwalkers that have done the fight. And um, so as you can see, his percentage has gone down a little bit over time because more people have gotten gear, and obviously that gear makes him do more damage. And it also shows how many parses were taken today of the fight Mythic Butcher. So either way, uh, you can scroll down these, and what this is really useful for doing is to see this guy's obviously fucking killing it, right? 98, 98, 99. Like, this guy obviously knows what we're doing. This might be heroic, it's not mythic, but it's still really good, because a lot of people still do heroic. The point is, this is a very good way to kind of look and see, you know, hey, look at this person's uh, sim DPS here, and then you look them up on World of Logs. And so let's look at myself, for example. Um, and you see how they're comparing to what their sim DPS is showing them to be expected to be comparing or, uh, you know, will, will, like, give you a good expectation of what to expect from them. And so either way, um, so this is for myself, and so this is a Mythic Cargath, and we're going to look at all of the bosses here. And so right here, uh, at medium percentile 24, I think I died on our first pull, or this is our second pull. This is our first one. I think, I'm, not, I'm, I'm surprised I didn't parse higher. Oh, no, I only had a 644 item level. And so either way, um, I remember I parsed kind of highly with that, but that doesn't really matter. Either way, uh, my most recent parse, I got 98th percentile, and I'm rank 115 for all warriors who did that fight. And so that shows the amount of parses, and uh, my historical percentage, as I said before, is again higher than my uh, percentage today because it went down. Like, I remember when I originally made this parse, it was a little bit, I don't even remember exactly, but it was a little bit higher. Anyway, Butcher, I think I died on this one. The point is that it shows like pretty much where I parse on Butcher and uh, also on Korag. Um, either way, so yeah, we just killed him today, actually. And so anyway, uh, you can pretty much see things this way. And it also shows, and it, it's an easy way to kind of look and see what this person's performance really is. Now, again, you can go over to Heroic, and you can look at my parses from Heroic. Um, you know, pretty fucking terrible. Like, I really don't give a shit whenever I do Heroic. And so that's pretty obvious. And also, um, you know, as a warrior, you switch back between arms and fury depending on the fight, especially now with the buffs. And so you can also look at my arms parses, and so make sure that you're doing that, especially if you're evaluating players that use two different specs for the same raid. And so either way, uh, you can look at my arms percentiles, that's pretty good, did all right on Brackenspore, did I had an okay parse on Twin Ogron uh, on that day, but apparently that kind of got uh, overwritten. I need to get some better gear, but either way, the point is that you guys can see pretty much just as shows me and it compares me against other warriors performing it relatively the uh, the same well it doesn't show compared to item level but it does show compared to a lot of other things and either way guys this is a very useful tool for finding different members for your guild and so these two ideas or sorry these two websites are very good places to start now we're also going to talk about a couple of other things before I finish up this video and it's actually going to be three other sites so the next site we're going to look at is called wowlemmings.com now at wowlemmings.com is it's a tool that pretty much uh, takes all of the different uh, postings from the guild recruitment website, 
and aggregates them into this different little list here. And you can, uh, I guess, like figure out and uh, search by region. And so let's do US, uh, Alliance, Servers, it doesn't matter. And so Mistweaver, where's Monk? There's Monk. Okay, Idiot Filter, I don't know what that does. Um, and so either way, that's this, uh, this search function is not very good. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. It's just not very good. And so you can pretty much just go down here and look for somebody like, so for example, we're looking, we were looking for a Mistweaver. And so here's a 680 Moonken. And so what this says is, so when you click on it, like, well, 680 Moonken, let's, you know, might want to talk to this guy. So anyway, you click on it, and what it's going to do is it's going to open up the link to where this person posted their information. And so this is on a guild recruitment website of the official forums, as you can see here. And, you know, there's like my character, so I'm logged in and all that. And so you can look at this player and you can click on him and you can evaluate him and 680 Moonkin and pretty much look at his gear and make sure everything's in the right spot. And this also is going to give you a chance to where let's hypothetically go ahead and search this guy up. And let's see, uh, what server was he on? Uh, Yasir, I believe. And so let's see if we can find any, uh, any logs for him. I guess not. Um... That's surprising if he's a 680 uh, Moonkin, maybe his uh, his logs were private, which again makes things a little bit harder. But if you are applying for a guild, uh, a useful bit of information is make sure that your logs aren't private so people can, there we go, uh, so people can evaluate you. And uh, it makes them easier for them to make a decision on whether they want you in your guild or not. And so uh, while that loads, anyway, uh, I'll show you guys also another website that you can look at. And uh, that's, of course, the WoW official forums. Now, this actually is a pretty good spot for finding people. I found a lot of good players in my guild that are actually, I found them from this website. And so just because it's the official forums, and there's a lot of very silly places on the official forums, there's also a couple of really good ones, too. And so you can kind of look at these different people and figure out pretty much, uh, you know, how, how good are they or whatever else. And so let's go ahead and look. We'll, we'll find somebody with a pretty good item level, 677, Holy Paladin, and a lot of people... Um, post from alts and that's so their person their guild doesn't find them and so let's see if we can find this guy too I don't know if the uh, if the Warcraft logs website is running slowly or what's going on so I do apologize for that but anyway the uh, point I don't really think I need to go through everything either way uh, the point is obviously that gives you, this gives you the opportunity to look up this player and uh, also uh, you know see how they're parsing and everything else like that and you can of course look them up on uh, what do you call it, on WoW Progress and see what they're doing there too. And so there's first Mike, this is the guy that we're looking at. And so this guy, you know, it's uh, 679, so it's probably similar to where his item level is. Uh, Sim DPS, very high. And so let's see if we can reload this and make it work. I'm not really sure uh, what's going on with the website. I just want to do kind of, uh, I guess, like show what's going on. And so you can kind of look at all of his different information. And um, sometimes people, uh, yeah, there, see, he's got his battle tag right there. And so you're able to look him up and uh, contact him and, you know, like say, hey, you know, why don't you join my guild, come into Skype, or come into Mumble, and, you know, let's talk, right? And so this is a very good way of finding members for your guild as well. Now, uh, one last place that I want to show you guys where to look is this is like not really that great of a place, but I did want to mention it because what the hell. And uh, what this is here is it's uh, the Reddit uh, subreddit for WoW Guild Recruitments. Now, there's a very uh, small amount of people here. As you can see, there's only... Um, 2,500 people subscribed to the subreddit, but there are a lot of people who have bumped the threads, and so I'm not really entirely sure how useful this will be, but either way, uh, you can pretty much copy and paste, if you're a, a guild master and you're looking for more members of your guild, you can pretty much copy and paste the information that you got from WoW Progress and you put on there, or just from your guild website, and put it onto this uh, Reddit, subreddit, and it's going to pretty much not really take too long to, I guess, like, port it over and maybe make a couple of different little changes. Now, uh, that's pretty much, I guess, like, if I think of anything, I'll uh, probably add it in, I guess, like, or, like, mention it. But that kind of ends, like, the portion for, I guess, like, progression, I guess, like, recruiting. And that's really what it, most of this is about, because whenever you're recruiting as a more casual guild or whatever else, uh, it's, it's a lot different for how you want to find members. Now, what this really comes down to is how you want to find members. And what type of players you want to have in your guild. Now, I've already made a video, pretty long video about this, and so I'm not really going to beat too much, uh, beat a dead horse, but just make sure that you have people who have the same goals and the same mentality that you do, and, uh, you know, they want, obviously, the same goals. They, they want the same thing that you do. That's the important part. So either way, 
Uh, one good way that I found to uh, find members for your guild is to conduct pug raids or uh, you know something similar to that and just see who's performing well and try and find people who aren't in guilds. And another thing that's useful uh, in terms of poaching people out of members uh, out of other guilds is whenever you uh, are looking for different players and you're searching through there, like you want to look for players who are in guilds that are less progressed than yourself. And so as an example for this, um, let me see if I just, I still want to reload, what the fuck. And so an example for this is Severity Gaming is a very uh, is very far behind us in progression. And so our probability of recruiting this monk um, over this other monk who's in Divinity is very uh, is very higher probability because obviously this person's already in a good guild and so why are they going to want to take it down or this person right here is already in a good guild and so why are they going to downgrade to play to us play with us when obviously they're obviously getting a ton of gear and uh, doing very well in their guild so the point is that uh, this also allows you to pretty much pick out different members that you want to approach from your guild and uh, also uh, like this guild fat girls I don't even know I have no idea what this what that guild even is. And so this guy's got really high uh, um, sim DPS, probably got a good uh, item level. I'm probably, I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, this name hasn't gotten reported yet, but he's 671 item level, pretty good, uh, pretty high sim DPS, only killed Kargath. And so again, this allows you to evaluate players very quickly, take this over to Warcraft logs if it was working, and, uh, you know, pretty much do the same thing and just figure it out with him and go from there. And so that allows you to kind of sort out and figure out who you want to have, uh, you know, who you want to approach and who you want to spend your time, uh, you know, investing your time and trying to find and uh, get them into your guild. But either way, uh, as a casual guild, uh, of course, like one thing is important, uh, even we do this is we spam in general chat and we've occasionally got a couple people that way. I think we've got like two people, but if it's just a click of a button, it's not really that hard to do it. Now, other than that, uh, the best way to do it is to do a pug raid with somebody and hopefully get them in some sort of mumble or event with you. And so you can really kind of get an idea of how, what kind of person this is and if they're going to fit into your guild. Because the odds are, if they feel like that they should be in your guild as much as you do, they'll probably initiate the idea of them joining. And so that's the best way to do it, in my opinion. And I found that that's probably the, uh, the highest, I guess, like probability of getting somebody who's actually really worthwhile in your guild rather than just somebody who might really want to progress and, uh, you know, just like something kind of, uh, they're just going to use you guys as a stepping stone or something like that. If you want to have somebody that's really dedicated and uh, devoted to your guild, um, you know, finding somebody in a pug and really getting to know them before they even join the guild and uh, being able to evaluate them with a, uh, I guess, like a no strings attached policy. You're just looking at their damage and, you know, you can approach them after the raid and say, hey, man, you know, you did really well. Uh, would you be considered, to, you know, would you like to talk to me about joining your guild or joining our guild? And usually if they say, if they will even talk to you, you can probably get them in your guild. Okay, just as a general rule, right? And so the uh, point is that these are a lot of really good methods of uh, finding members for your guild. Now, there are a few other ones. And of course, the best way of uh, recruiting is called network recruiting. And that's what I really call it. And what that is, is that you just kind of look for friends of friends and line people up who are kind of like on the fence about joining your guild. And they say, hey, you know, if a spot opens up, let me know. And so whenever the spot does open up, you let them know and you can make a seamless transition from one player to another. And that way you don't really have to worry about recruiting people that you might not really know. Because whenever you recruit somebody that you don't know, kind of out of nowhere, uh, you run into a lot of different problems that I guess like uh, that you might not even really encounter. And if you already know the person, uh, there's a higher probability that you know things won't really go uh, things won't really go south. So either way, guys, I hope this video is helpful, and uh, I hope these websites are useful to you. And I'm going to go over the different websites we went over one more time, so everybody can remember. And so uh, this first website that we looked at here is called WowProgress.com, and this is useful for finding players. And of course, you can find players again on WarcraftLogs.com, but WoW Progress is a lot easier in terms of finding players on your server. And um, again, you can search by uh, sim DPS item level and then figure out people who are in shittier guilds and then recruit them to your better guild. So another website that we looked at here is called WarcraftLogs.com. Now this aggregates all of the different highest parsing players and it shows the different DPS that people do on different fights. Now Warcraft Logs, I'm probably going to do a video on how to evaluate players in Warcraft Logs in depth. But we'll see about that, and uh, we'll look at that in the future. But the point is here uh, that Warcraft Logs is a very good way of determining if somebody is actually doing uh, the DPS that they're supposed to, according to this. It's just like a general rule, right? It's not like you should expect this guy right here to be 32,120.90 DPS. 
but this would be a pretty good expectation on a, on a straight single target find. So uh, those are two other websites you should look at. Uh, make sure that you have your own guild website. So that's really great uh, You know, whenever you have that because it just allows, like an uh, example here is this is an, an absence thread and uh, this absence thread allows people to pretty much post and say, hey, you know, this is, uh, you know, I'm not going to be here, uh, you know, on like the first and the, uh, yeah, the, the seventh and the twelfth because of some kind of shit. And uh, this guy's not going to be here on the twelfth. And so this allows us to plan ahead of time. And so either way, that's a very good thing to have for your guild. And again, this also makes you look more professional, which gives people a better incentive to want to join. So the next website that we looked at is called wildlings.com. And wildlings.com basically aggregates all the different posts from the uh, official uh, guild recruitment forums into a little bit easier uh, way to read, with just shows the item level and uh, everything else like that. And um, sometimes the guild recruitment forums are a lot different, a lot more different, because like you have other guilds, and wildlings is tailored more towards recruiting members rather than, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, towards you recruiting members rather than uh, you know guilds looking for uh, people to join them. So another option, of course, is going to be the guild recruitment forums, and uh, this is under the forums, community, and guild recruitment, and that's going to take you right to the same place that I just was. And so that's going to show all of the different people who just posted, and so this is very easy to use. And of course, you can use this to uh, find members, of course. And the last thing, as I said, just, you know, an extra thing, sorry, is the subreddit. And of course, there is a uh, MMO champion uh, thread, or I guess like forum for this. But I don't really see a lot of people using it. But the MMO Champion one is an option. Personally, I would stick to these right here because they're the most used. And again, the three most important are going to be Wild Progress, Warcraft Logs, and the official uh, the official guild recruitment website. So either way, guys, uh, if you have any other questions about how I find members for my guild or uh, some of the good practices that I use, you can go ahead and ask me, and I'll try and answer them as best I can. And if you have another video that you'd like me to do uh, similar to this one, I probably might do it, uh, depending on how much time that I have. So either way, thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.